Let's get straight into it and um, all the rumours surrounding Arsenal today. The first one um, is on Saka. Now, of course, uh, Saka has had a brilliant, brilliant season for Arsenal. Um, real, real breakout season. And he's been absolutely incredible, whether it's playing on the, the left wing, whether it's playing as left back. As a matter of fact, even more impressive at left back. When he went in at that position, remember, he literally... And this is why why um, you have to seize opportunities sometimes. He literally went in there because of so many injuries. First of all, there was an um, injury to Tierney, and he was out long term. Then the injury to Kalasinac, and it's like, well, who else can we put in? We haven't got a left back left. Sorry, Saka, mate, you're going to have to play in that position. I know you've never really played there, but you're going to have to play in that position. Not only did he go in there and fill in, he was absolutely amazing at left back. Brilliant. And um, lots of assists, brilliant pace, good speed of recovery, good at tackling. His defensive work was good. And as I said, you know, scored goals, delivery was good. He was just absolutely superb. And well, he's 18 years, right? And, um, you know, he hasn't signed a new deal yet. Because, um, you know, he's, he's still on his old deal, which is reported to be anything between three to five thousand pounds a week, which is nothing for a Premier League football footballer. Um, there's been a lot of clubs looking at the situation, thinking to themselves, well, you know, if Arsenal do their usual, we can swoop down and get him. He could become another Gnabry or somebody like that. Um, there's teams like Borussia Dortmund and all a host of um, teams in the Premier League. But it does look like a, a deal is close to getting done. That is the rumours that are coming out, that this is close to being sorted out. And um, I think that would be very, very good news um, for for me and for all Arsenal fans, because he's one of our own, number one. And as I said, he's. I, I think he can be a very important player um, in the future. It'll be interesting to see where he ends up playing, because uh, it, Cedric yesterday, remember him? We signed him in January. He, of course, is a... Um, uh, a left back as well. Um, no, sorry, he's a right back. We're talking about right back, um, Cedric, right? But um, it'd be interesting to see where Saka plays when everybody comes back or who goes out of Tierney, Kalasinac. Um, obviously, it looks like Saka will be staying, so it'd be interesting to see that. But on on um, the Cedric one, Cedric coming out yesterday, um, he's doing, I think he did an interview on Sky, and he was saying, you know, how happy he is at Arsenal, how he, you know... He didn't say he supported Arsenal, but he said he used to follow Arsenal very closely when he was a kid because of, you know, Thierry Henry and Burkamp and all those players and, you know, Vieiras. And, you know, the, he said he absolutely loved Arsenal. And it's an absolute honour for him to be playing at Arsenal and he wants to stay. You remember, he hasn't even played a single game yet for Arsenal because he came in, he was injured from Southampton on loan. His loan deal will be up at the end of the season, and we've not get, got to see any of him yet. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with Cedric. Um, you know, C Cedric, I, I think, is a very good player. I remember um, playing when he was playing for Portugal, I think when they won the Euros in 2016, he was a, a, um, quite an important player in that. So will we keep him, or will he return? Well, he wouldn't even return back to... Um, Southampton, because I think his contract will be up there. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens with um, Cedric. Um, Arteta is said to really, really like him. The coronavirus has not just affected the world of football, but has affected everybody. But you know what? We can defeat it. If you're displaying any of the symptoms, always make sure that you self-isolate. I know it's a terrible time, but we will defeat the coronavirus. We will be back.